holy crap it's all turning blue and purple all right this video is about how I turned this into this since my last video I've been trying to figure out how to make a door for my rocket stove because currently it's wide open and the incoming air cools down the flames so I want to be able to control the primary and the secondary air so I cut the parts and started to put the frame together so these corners are the secondary air pipes and then these will become the primary air pipes I found some uh, mica glass that I'm going to put in here together with a stove gasket so these are just little pieces of metal that I bent and those are going to control the air and they're supposed to slide like this so let's put the top plate on and then you can get a better idea how it's going to work something like that you can move them like this it looks like this is blocking the primary air but actually this hole is a little bit bigger than it should be it's okay since these parts are pretty much done I got this high temperature paint they use it on car parts but it is for the right temperatures you know this is you know 1100 or whatever Celsius 2000 Fahrenheit something like that and that is the temperature that the rocket stove can get probably not on the front but in the back it will so this should be good enough so I put the door together and I installed it as you can see it has a little piece of mica glass in it now it doesn't look very clear but when the fire is going on the inside and it's dark then you don't see this you're not supposed to really fix the glass because the metal and the glass expand at different rates when it gets hot and then the glass breaks so I'm just squeezing it with the gasket I also still have to figure out a good way to close the door for now I just uh, drilled a hole through the frame and through the other frame and just put a little piece of metal with a with a little bolt on it so if you move this down then it opens it's not perfect because especially this door gets hot with a fire right behind it it would be nice to have a way to open this maybe I don't know some kind of handle and then if I want to close it where's the bolt oh here it is yeah so it sort of stays in place so good enough for now had to make a few fixes also these boards were starting to bend a little bit and they're trying to bend inwards so I just put this little spacer in here and put some more gasket cement which is drying right now I'm going to fire it up in a little bit so that uh, the gasket cement cures and then I guess I'm gonna leave the spacer until it's fully dry because otherwise it will just push back in what did I do on the inside on the inside well you still have that metal grate I had to paint this after I painted the rest of the door so I was like yeah why not let's put some uh, high heat uh, paint on this too also put some on these secondary air pipes and also because this high heat paint is a ceramic paint I need to cure it a little bit first so I think when I'm going to fire it up I'm just gonna put these pieces on top and then uh, just run it bare first with nothing in it so I can get a good baseline as well another tip that I got was to use water glass and so hopefully the inside is now a little bit tougher and so it doesn't scrape these boards like like here hopefully that's done with now so what I want to see is which of the upgrades that I did made the biggest difference and the biggest difference would be like higher temperatures I assume that if it's hotter it's working better so first I'm gonna run it just like I built it a year and a half ago One thing that I'm already noticing is that it's a lot easier to light. If you have that grate in that's lifted off the bottom, this is going to be a little bit slower. Oh, it's heating up because this <laughs> was the reading in Fahrenheit just a minute ago. 600. It's about a normal wood fire, 600. And you can't measure the temperature of a gas with these thermometers. So I can only measure the temperature of the material around it we're getting about 800 celsius yeah 800 celsius 
which is the max of this thermometer, so I don't know how this is gonna go. This is it 1470 Fahrenheit. One thing that it does do is create some cool vortexes, except they're shooting out the top. And I also don't hear any rocket noises, so probably the draft can be improved by extending that heat riser. It took a little bit for the other section of the heat riser to warm up, but when it did, I started to hear the rocket noises that I'm looking for. I guess the top of the heat riser has warmed up a little bit. It's getting there. It's like 500 C, 1000, 1000 Fahrenheit. So let's see what closing the door does. So let's see how the heat riser is doing with the door closed. 750? 700? It looks like it's a little bit warmer now. 750C? 1370 Fahrenheit. Okay, so let's do that again. But this time with the grate and the secondary air pipes in. So let's see what we get now. 600, 650, 700, 1270 Fahrenheit. Just starting up. 900 Celsius. Yeah, so something around 920, 925 Celsius. 1700 Fahrenheit. Seems to be a little bit warmer. <laughs> Just that grate makes it so much easier to light and it looks like you get at least 100 Celsius more out of the top, maybe 150. Let's put a little bit more wood on and extend the heat riser. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> it's very, very, very hot. There's the rocket. So let's see. Oh, hello. <laughs> now it's 900. Oh, 900 Fahrenheit. 750. Huh. It's getting a lot hotter now with the extended riser. How much is that in Fahrenheit? 1423. So I just filled it back up. Let's see how the top is doing. Around 850-ish Celsius. So now the test that we're all been waiting for. What about the door? Shut the door. Holy crap. It's all turning blue and purple. <laughs> Get the camera over there. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot, boys. Blue flames all over in the bottom. You gotta see this. Okay, damn the camera. Oh boy. I think that door is doing something. So, what happens if I close the door? and close the secondary air. Let's see how the top is doing. It maxed out the thermometer. It went to 900, see? And then it said high. Oh, here's something. Here's 940 C, 1727 Fahrenheit. Oh, it's all blue flames again. I guess the door is working, but it doesn't really care about primary or secondary air. I don't know. So let's try that again and shut off the primary air. See if there's any difference. Getting about 850 out of the top, about 1560 Fahrenheit. So what did we find so far? The heat riser definitely needs to be that proper size because otherwise you don't get any rocket noises, it doesn't draft as much, and it actually gets hotter when it does. The grate and the secondary air pipes 
it makes it a lot easier to light the fire and it also gets hotter when you use them the door once i closed it and i saw all those blue flames that was insane even though i don't really measure a lot of difference at the top maybe you know 50c 100 fahrenheit difference or something it just looks so awesome but you get most of the way there with just the proper size heat riser and a grate that lets the ashes fall through i think those make the biggest difference if you've built yourself a rocket stove or you want to and you have ideas how i can make it better leave a comment down below don't forget to do this if you like this kind of stuff and there should be something for you to watch next er, here or er, here thanks for watching and see you in the next one